What's up guys? I'm back for another video because I haven't uploaded in like a long time. Don't ask why I care. Anyway, um today I'll be showing you how I unlock the crystal alt the crystal altar. Uh the way I do it, uh you probably don't you really don't need the angel's blessing, but if you have it it'll probably help. Because you're using super scrolls. So um I, I can explain how the actual crystal altar works and I'll like show you like some other like other ways that you can do it if you don't have certain items. Um like if you use a Symmetri, a true overload device, a Freon Bombarder and Robot Enhancer, you can use like as many super scrolls as you want, or just scroll scrolls. Um the reason is is so it can get the sparkling all that it needs. Um, you need the radioactive refiner and then any, like the ore illuminator or the ore indoctrinator so the ores can be well educated, uh, which needs to be actually used to, um, to be, to actually unlock the altar. So as you see, it has multiple stages, like broken, shiny, and then finally unsealed, but there's some others that I haven't mentioned because I don't know the names of them. Don't ask why. I'm not an expert. Um, I'll, if you were to use Angel's Blessing, um, it'd probably be so much easier because all you gotta do is just pop the angel right there, and just let's just move this. Oh, crystal all broke. And you can clearly see it just goes through easily, like very fast. So you go. Uh, this is like one of the best ways for that, I believe, to unlock the crystal aura. Um, I would use super scrolls just so I can use the angel's blessing like right at the start of my uh, my actual uh, uh, my actual uh, setup. Uh, I haven't tested this, but I want to see if. Instead of using true overload device, I'm going to go straight to using angels because it's like a 150 upgrader. Uh, let's test this. So it goes crystal altar. Okay, so it hasn't got a high enough upgrade. Um... I'd say the, just use a true overload device, then Angel's Blessing, and boom, 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 it works. Uh, flaming, frozen, broken, shiny, poisoned, and then unsealed. Um, the stats for the um, Crystal Altar is what I believe is 45k. Um, so if we just quickly do this, and then have a flake ore. We'll see the exact multiplier. So yeah, it's 45 times as the unsealed. Um, if you, uh, by any chance, have a new by mine, and you put it into uh, the actual crystal altar, it breaks it. Uh, it basically sets the multiplier to zero, like to one. Uh, let's see if I've got it done. I've actually got to just do this uh, new bite. As you see, is the cursed uh, crystal altar. And I, I, in my opinion, I kind of like it. It looks like it looks kind of like similar to the void drive. You know, it's got the dark uh, shadowy effect. That uh, not a lot of items do have. Um, if we do pop in a flake, which is one dollar uh, in all value, you can see it only does one. Yeah, it just the multiplier is just one. Yet if you use a new by mine without uh, unsealing the actual crystal altar, um, I'm trying to think of more things that it's actually got the crystal altar um 
I'm trying to think of a faster um, way to power it, but the way that I've done it, I believe it is the fastest. Um, if you have the Angel's Blessing, it's so much faster than just using scrolls, but I kind of just, I prefer it using it like that. Um, I can, alright, basically how it works is if we quickly just grab the altar and we have the items that we need. So we need the robotic, we need the furion, angel, new true overload. You can use any upgrade, it just has to be very well, like, powered. Um. <clears throat> You gotta also have the radioactive refiner or the saw bomber for the radioactive effect. And then there should just be one of these items, the ore illuminator or the ore indoxinator. Um, you can use any one of them, they just give the exact same effect. Uh, hmm. So... The Freon Bombarder is for, to like, fireproof the ore, and then that'll turn it into the Frozen. Uh, using a Robotic Enhancer makes it become the Broken Crystal Altar and glows blue. Uh, using, like, the Angel's Blessing to give it the Sparkle effect will become the Shiny. And then after Radioactive, uh, you get the Poison, and Aura Illuminate, you get the Unsealed Crystal Altar. Uh, that's the order you've got to like, you, you can do it in any order, you've just got to end up having, um, having all the stages, like, fitted in. If we quickly just do this. Oh my lord, uh, grab four items, and then we can get the angel's blessing. Uh, I prefer using the Symmetrite because it works, I think it's because of the fire effect, uh, it already gives it. So use Symmetrite, probably, for Symmetrite's probably the best to use. And um, as you see, this like goes through all of them very fast. Then you get the uh, unsealed altar. Um, yeah, I, there's not really much for this item. I will be reviewing the grand uh, clockwork in the Vulcan's Destiny very shortly. It's just that I've just got to do stuff, you know, priorities. Um, I hope you all like the... Uh, this little uh, how to do it because a lot of people uh, questioned how you actually do the actual um, you know the actual unsealing so uh, this will be a tutorial on how you do it so um, I hope you like I hope you liked it um, these are the items that you really need and then you're good to unseal it to get 45 times a multiplier uh, if you're not on my Discord, go into the description below and you'll be able to join it. You'll get notified of every upload and any um, events that I do, which will be coming up in the near future. So, um, if you haven't, like, subscribe, join my Discord or not. Uh, well, see you guys.